Hey guys, it's Michael. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a new video. Finally, a tutorial again um, that I will put in between my uh, competition prep vlogs. And today we will talk about a very interesting topic and that is sticking point work for chin-ups. So stay tuned for the video. A bit of advertisement for myself. For March, we still have some coaching and programming spots open. So if you are interested in working with professional coaches, make sure to schedule your free consulting call and then we can see how we can help you the best. So let's first clarify where the sticking point for chin-up occurs for most of the athletes. Therefore, let's just take a look on the movement of a chin-up. It basically consists of two parts, which is the lift-off or the pulling part and the closing part. And the lift off part is defined by moving away from the bar. That's the nature of this movement because I have my elbow in front of the body. So I will roughly move myself away from the bar by the length of my upper arm. So in this phase, I create distance to the bar until roughly 90 degree elbow flexion. So in this position here, I will have the biggest bar distance. So the worst leverage position that I can be in. And that is why this position here or around like shortly before or after this position, the sticking point for most of the athlete occurs. Just because the muscles are already a bit shortened, we're already a bit pre-fatigued and on top we have the worst position when it comes to external leverage. From that position on, we have the second phase of the chin-up, which is the closing, where we decrease the bar distance again and then pull as high as we need to um, for that specific competition, for the final rep competition that also I will compete in. It's chin over bar completely. And now you probably ask yourself, what can you do to get better around that sticking point? So when it comes to increasing your technique and increasing practice in that position, the easiest way to tackle such a sticking point is by pausing in that position. By pausing in that position, you just um, spend more time there and you are more aware of your proprioception. That means when you are like this, in this position, you create a lot of distance, that position will feel super, super hard. By pausing there, you will get aware of this and you will probably bring your center of mass a bit closer to the bar. You will probably engage your muscles a bit different to make this position more efficient. And that is what we wanna do when it comes to this sticking point work. We wanna create a more efficient position because what we cannot change is the external leverage of that position that is there it will always be one of the hardest points of the movement so what we need to do is to make our technique as efficient as possible to overcome that sticking point so let's get on the bar and see how we can put that into an exercise the exercise that i like to use and that you also saw on some of my training blocks is a chin up where we just add a pause at 90 degree elbow flexion on the way up so that we separate the lift off part and the closing from each other. You don't need to spend a shitload of time in that position. One to max three seconds should be totally fine there. So what I want you to do is get into that chin up position, then get into your lift off position, pull until around 90 degree elbow flexion, close then pull pause close and with that you have a very good chance to get rid of that sticking point so now you probably ask yourself what else can you do as i said this is the nature of this movement so as you're pulling away from the bar until here and then coming closer around this area you will always have um, yeah, and deceleration in your speed if it's getting very heavy. So to overcome this, what you can do next to the sticking point work with pausing is just to create more acceleration from the bottom. So putting it in other terms, 
get stronger. And <laughs> this is not a very quick solution. Um, we keep it today with the pause chin-ups at 90 degree elbow flexion. And guys, thanks for watching this tutorial. Let me know in the comments if you have already tried this exercise or similar exercises and if it helped you to overcome your sticking point. Also, make sure to leave a comment, help this video to get noticed by the algorithm. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment.